Hey guys, have you ever wondered why your computer gets slower after using it for a few years or even after a few months? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the most common problems that causes this and how you can fix it. All right, now the first reason is that after using your computer, your hard drive gets fragmented and filled up and all the files are spread all over the hard drive. And how you can fix this is defragmenting the hard drive. This puts all the files that are used more commonly together so it doesn't take as long for the hard drive to search for these files. Now, if you're on Windows 7, this is done automatically. Now, if you're on XP or earlier or Vista, then you have to either run the program that comes with Windows or download one manually. Now, the second reason is that as you use your computer, it probably gets a lot of dust and dirt in there, and you need to clean that out because that actually restricts airflow and causes the computer to heat up, and overheating really does slow down your computer. So if you just get some canned air like I've got in the background or a vacuum, you should notice a difference after you do it. The next reason is that as you use your computer and install new programs, you probably get a lot of programs that start up when you don't really want them to. Now you can download programs, for example, one is called CCleaner, and this will actually help you go through and remove programs from startup and stop them from starting up on boot, and this will significantly decrease your boot time. You should also uninstall programs that you don't use anymore because this will also free up hard drive space. Now the last reason also is most common is that you may have viruses or malware on your computer. And to remove these, which are probably using up system resources and making it slow, is that you have to download a virus scanner or at least run it even if you have it, or maybe a malware scanner. And two of these are Microsoft Security Essentials, which is free, and it's actually made by Microsoft. And another free one is Malware Bytes. This will search for malware, and these are both very good and both free. So I'll link to them in the description as well, and you should check them out if you think you have any viruses, or even if you don't, because you never know when you need to be proactive with that kind of thing. Now, if you really want to get your computer back and running to the way it was on day one, then you're going to need to reformat your hard drive and reinstall your operating system. I would not recommend doing this if you're not very good with computers or very experienced, because this will wipe out your hard drive, and basically reinstall completely fresh. So you definitely don't want to do this without backing up first so you can get your files stored away safely before you do it. And also, you should probably have someone else do this if you're not sure what you're doing, so then you won't mess anything up. All right, so those are all the reasons why your computer might be getting slow and how you can fix it. I hope you enjoyed this video, so be sure to subscribe, like it, and all that good stuff, and leave a comment about whether your computer was able to be sped up a little bit by doing these tips, and thanks for watching.